Amusement Park portal. Here we are at Cedar Point, America's Rock and Roller Coast. And things are beginning to get spooky around here. You can see the Halloween's decor has appeared. We've got it all over the place here at the front gate. We've got pumpkins up here. We've got this giant photo op pumpkin here. Little pumpkins up by the restrooms and the ticket booths. So we're gonna go around the park and uh, check out some of those decorations today. Maybe catch a show if they have any, eat some food, ride some rides, and just have another great day here at Cedar Point. So why don't you join us? All right, just inside the front gate of the park, we have this hollow weekends, like postcard, billboard looking thing with these scarecrows on each side of them. Now this is hiding the 150th anniversary sign, which I'm kind of curious to see if they bring that back next year. I noticed for not only Halloween weekends, but for uh, the boardwalk nights, they completely covered up the 150th. So it'll be interesting to see if they bring it back next year. But anyway, this is a great photo opportunity right here, right inside the front gate. Like I said, you got like, like pumpkin scarecrows. You got this big billboard, pretty cool. Another thing over here on the Midway. Now these, these were here last year. However, years before that, these used to be located back in Frontier Town. They had the Harvest Festival, and they had these booths set up, and they had some fog and some scare actors walking around, and they had like games and things inside of these booths. But now they're currently located on the main Midway, kind of right by uh, Raptors entrance here. All right. Speaking of photo ops, over here by the gift shop near the front of the park. They get this hollow weekend's photo spot. It's like a pumpkin carriage you can get your picture taken care of, inside of rather. I can't even talk today, but. And also just across from here, they have these pumpkins kind of sticking on these uh, stakes out of the ground right here. Pretty cool. All right, another new addition this year on the main midway are these like tanks. And they painted these like scary pumpkin faces on them and, and that. These were not here last year, but this is pretty cool. Good way to utilize these old tanks. They got all different kinds of faces on them. And I believe this is where uh, the Top Throw 2 flower bed was uh, over the summer. That's been removed, and these have taken its place for uh, Halloween weekends. Very cool. All right, here we are at this year's Dead Ride Cemetery. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Dead Ride Cemetery, this is where they have tombstones of all the park's former attractions uh, that have been removed over the years. For example, the Upside Down Fun House, and it'll tell you the years right here. We have the old Wildcat right here, Witch's Wheel, Shoot the Rapids in the back, Sky Slide, looks like Pirate Ride, and we'll go over here. We've got a couple more. Kids uh, ride the Sir Rub It Up's Tub, and we got a sky ride cabin uh, front from the Frontier Lift that closed in 1985. Now this sky ride cabin used to take guests from roughly right here where Coasters is, all the way to the back of the park by Mine Rides Exit. So if you're interested in that, check it out online, and there's lots of pictures out. You got Wicked Twister here, and you got a front for Mantis Demon Drop. Many of you know Mantis was the park's stand-up coaster, which was replaced by Rougarou. Um, they removed the stand-up seating and replaced it with sit-down. So, Baron Curve, we got the Earthquake Dark Ride, and Mean Streak. And here's actually one of the trains right here uh, for Mean Streak as well, the green train. They had green, gold, and red trains on Mean Streak. And here's one of the green ones right here. Fun fact, years and years and years ago, I used to work at the park and I ran Main Street, so it's kind of fun to see uh, the trains here. But one thing notably absent from the ride graveyard is the recently closed Snake River Falls. Now, as you know, Snake River Falls closed down, what, last Sunday, I believe it was, was its final run. Um, no announcement has been made yet what's going to replace it, but I just kind of find it interesting it's not in the ride graveyard yet. Now we still have another week before Halloween weekend starts, so you never know what might show up uh, in the ride graveyard between now and then. But uh, yeah, so if you're at the park, the ride graveyard is located right by Coaster's Diner, just on the opposite side of the Sky Ride right here. All right, just past the Top Thrill 2 racing sign is the entrance to Pumpkin Hollow. You can see it right over here. Right next to the closed Top Thrill 2. 
Now Pumpkin Hollow is where the park sets up all these pumpkins and different designs and, and things like that. It's pretty cool, but actually the pumpkins don't really start until you get around over here by Top Pro 2's entrance. So let's go take a look at that. And I also want to point out the Mr. Midnight's Fear Emporium has returned this year. Right here, this is the uh, the Top Thrill 2 uh, gift shop. And ah! per usual, they, they switch it over to the Halloween's gift shop every year. That's pretty cool, I like that poster. So, let's go look for some real pumpkins. Okay, just walking into the area where they normally had the live pumpkins. I don't see any as of yet. However, they do have some of the displays set up that they do load with pumpkins. Like this one right here. You see that? And now again, Halloween weekends doesn't start until next week. Now I remember last year they had an issue with the pumpkins rotting before the end of Halloween weekends because of the abnormally uh, warm weather that we had. So they're probably going to put this off as long as they can as far as putting them all out here. But typically over in this area here, they'll just load it up with different designs with the pumpkins. It's pretty cool. If you've never seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out. But as of now, there's currently no pumpkins. All right, the Gemini Midway is being transformed into the clown's walkthrough. This is like a heavy metal or death metal clown theme last year, and it looks like it's going to be the same this year. So they got the whole Midway decked out with corn stalks, and they have these booths set up over here. The clowns can hide in. They'll have fog, chainsaws, all kinds of cool things. And down at the other end over here, we're going to have some shipping containers with live music. Uh, some heavy metal bands dressed up as clowns. It's actually a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. All right, and here are the shipping containers that uh, they typically have the bands play in right here. Now, I did notice last year they had a stage set up over here. It's currently not a stage. Not to say they're not going to set one up before next week, but these shipping containers were not here last year. So interesting to see. It looks like they're going to have some music up here. I see some microphone stands and some lighting and whatnot up there. So this is probably where the music's going to be this year for the Butchers of Rock show right here on the uh, Gemini Midway. All right, back here at the Happy Fryer near Gemini, they have some specialty french fries going on for their fry fest. They have a five alarm fresh cut fries, spicy chili, ghost pepper cheese, and habanero pepper. Or they also have a pierogi one, fresh cut fries, mini pierogi, sauerkraut, Thousand Island dressing. That one's this one right here. That's good, and there's the five alarm right there. Cool. All right, over here at Snake River Falls, the water may still be pouring down the hill and the sign may say closed for the season, but in reality, it's closed permanently. Um, as if any of you know, it's been announced that this ride will be leaving the park. It will not return next year. So it's permanently closed, but it's interesting that they still have the water running. Uh, the last day of operation was last week, uh, Labor Day weekend. And they do have the boats are out of the water now currently as well. So, yeah, interesting over here at Snake River Falls. The water's still flowing through the channel here as well. Really interesting, but uh, curious. We'll, have to, we'll do a video here soon about what I think is going to uh, take Snake River Falls place. And there may be a few surprises in that video as well. Some things I've been hearing. So make sure you keep an eye out for that video. We'll put that out in the next week or two. Right, here's another view of Snake River Falls right here. You can see a little bit better. The water's still running right here. Yeah. All right, in our last video, we showed you the work going on over here at Thunder Canyon to transform it into corn stalker as well. You can see now it's well, been transformed. We now have corn right here, lots of it. So if you're into corn and you want to get scared, you can come check out Corn Stalkers 2.0 Revenge of the Pumpkin Heads right here at Thunder Canyon. And of course, we couldn't visit Cedar Point without paying a visit to Churro. There he is, eating again, as always. All right, not necessarily Halloween themed, but this lesser known photo spot over here on the front trail. Frontier Trail 
Features the barrel of fun at Cedar Point. You can get behind this and get your picture taken. And they also do have the scan here. So if you have the um, the fun pics, you can put your thing in there, hit the button, and the camera right here will take your picture. All right there. And this is on the Frontier Trail, kind of over by the Craftsman um, cabins. All right, over here at the park's main stage, we got some work going on in preparation for the stage shows. Now they do have several shows throughout uh, Hollow Weekends located on this stage. Okay, including the opening ceremonies, they've had the um, couple uh, like song and dance shows. For whatever reason, they're not coming to mind right now, but they're actually pretty good shows at this location. And then they have like a magic circus Olay type show um, located as well. So yeah, this is at the main stage. They're doing some painting right now. And this is kind of over by Coaster's Diner, Val Raven's Loop, if you know where that is. All right, one of the new alcohol offerings at the park this year is this Hollow Weekend's Market Garden Hollow Ale. You can see it's a pumpkin spice ale. It says right there on the bottom. Themed to Hollow Weekend's. For $13.69, while supplies last. Uh, definitely going to have to check this one out sometime this week. But... Uh, yeah, interesting. This is new for this year. Now, they do have the Top Thrill 2 um, um, alcohol drink as well. So, in addition to this one, this one sounds really interesting. Hollow Ale. And this particular sign is located right in front of the Hops and Drops Bar. Over here across from Coaster's Diner and Valerie. Alright, something new I've noticed this year over in Kitty Kingdom is the trick-or-treat stations are themed to actual haunts that are currently or used to be at the park. Like this one here is themed to Carn Evil. This is where the kids will come and trick-or-treat and grab their candy. And we got a couple more over here too. We got a Werewolf Canyon. Now many of you may remember that one. I believe that was on the island. The um, Millennium Force Island. Right here, Werewolf Canyon trailer so think of that and one of my personal favorite haunted houses ever at the park happy jack's toy factory um you may recall that one used to be located inside disaster transport before it was removed uh with the infamous peeing babies at the end so yeah happy jack's toy factory and we had the screamworks swan and facade here so yeah there's a few more. I'm going to let you discover them on your own that are through here in the Kitty Kingdom. But very cool. They're kind of giving a nod to all the, uh, the old haunts that used to be in the park. All right, a new show on the boardwalk this year is the Skeleton Crew. Now, this is one of those shows where they'll jump on the trampolines and kind of climb up the wall or jump up the wall. And you got doors here they can peek out of and they'll, they'll jump off the top. They used to have this on the main stage in the middle of the park, if you remember, but this year they moved it over here, which is kind of cool. Fits right in on the boardwalk. All right, we're in the Pagoda gift shop checking out some of the new Halloween swag they have available. Starting with this hoodie here for $53. It's Hollow Weekend, Cedar Point, and it has the Mr. Midnight character on it. See right there. Very cool. Yeah, we have these uh, Design Hollow Weekends hoodies here. There's the back of it. That's a pretty cool design. I like that. It's got the coaster skyline here. We got some Hollow Weekends drink cups and shot glasses. Ten bucks for a shot glass. Thirteen bucks for a coffee cup. And this is really cool. I like this. That's thirty-five dollars for that there. And then they have kid size. Uh, hoodies as well along with hats to keep you warm this is pretty cool they got the squishmallows they got like a ghost a grim reaper right up here like a ghoul and i'm not sure what that is plague doctor plague doctor yes i have the matching one i want i need this i didn't think a plague doctor would look so chipper uh, they know? i have i have the black <laughs> one that does look like a like a plague doctor but this oh. is just the, the female version okay well these ones glow in the dark it says here these cedar point hollow weekends hoodies and these are 58 dollars for those and we have like a basic hollow weekends uh t-shirt here for 17 along with some hoodies some smaller um squishmallows here they got names like dominic the spider and 
Jody, Jody, Jody. I don't know how you say that. It's like some kind of bat. And then we have these uh, like these ones here too. These are cool. Charlton. Yeah, very cool. Some more Hollow Weekends uh, hoodies here. And we also have pajama pants right here too. These are these feel really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 48 bucks mm -hmm. for that. Oh, this is cool. A squishmallow. This is a cauldron. Look at this. It's not a squishmallow. Yeah, it is. Look. It's a, no, it's a squishable. Squishable? Oh, what's the difference? Squishable. <laughs> squishmallow, oh, yeah, see, squishable. See, like that. I have the okay. bigger version of that. So, oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now these are new this year too. They have these like candy corn looking um, sweatshirts and hoodie, it looks like here too. These are cool. Especially if you're into candy corn, you'll really enjoy these. Oh, these have capes these on are... them. Capes. Oh, they have capes? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Kids' so, t-shirts with capes on them. Six Flags of Fine. It's like 33 bucks. Got some pumpkins. And we have this one here. This is Cedar Point Hollow Weekends. Creepy Vibes. Run for your life. It's much better when you're scared, it says. And then they have these... Uh, cups here with all the uh looks like haunt zones and haunted house walkthroughs here are on them right there tombstone terror evil elixirs so you get bloodbath all of them and then the hollow weekends logo right in the middle there those are very cool and those are uh 30 bucks so that's not too bad you got some hollow weekends uh head covers here you got like a basic uh looking one we got like a floppy hat here as well and that hoodie i just showed you with this on the back they also have it in t-shirt version so if you're looking for a t-shirt they got you covered here's some more t-shirts this is like a skull and it's got some of the coasters in it very cool and you got some different colors available and over here is some more glassware Very cool. Different design here. Very neat. And I think that may be it back here. Let's see if we got anything else up front. No, that looks like that's it. So we do have some more squishmallows here as well, some smaller ones. These are the cutest like this things wolf. I've ever seen. That is kind of cool. I like Look that. Look how cute he is. It's a goat, a demented goat. Look at that. So they got, got all candy the candy and the candy corn and mini pumpkins. And mini pumpkins as well. So I'm sure next week when it officially starts, they'll have more stuff out. But as of now, this is what they have, and it's actually quite a bit. They got a lot to choose from in here. And this, once again, this is in the Pagoda gift shop, kind of uh, almost in the middle of the store. They have a whole section here dedicated just to the Halloween weekend stuff. So if you're in the market for any Halloween weekend swag, this is the place to be. All right, over here in the sweet spot, they have a few delicacies for Halloween weekends. We got like a pumpkin uh, Reese's Pieces apple here and a Buckeye. And we got a Reese's Crispy uh, cup here as well. Oh my gosh, these look delicious. Absolutely delicious looking. And these will set you back 12 bucks. These apples are $12 a piece if you're interested for the large ones. And just the basic like caramel apple ones are nine dollars if you like that and up here these uh reese's krispies are eight dollars so not too bad it's a pretty big piece that's enough for like four or five people right here at the sweet spot Over here in Frontier Town, they're setting up for the uh, Tombstone territory. Right here, we got some skeleton horses, we got a stagecoach all set up, and our people are already getting scared. So, yeah, if you look inside the stagecoach here, there's uh, all kinds of random skeletons and clothing. Not sure what's going on here, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a little different this year from what I hear. Apparently, there's going to be some kind of interactive show with something to do with elixirs and or potions and whatnot. Um, they really haven't come out and said much about it as of yet, but uh, I'm really curious to see what it is. 
And then of course over here in Tombstone Territory, you also have the very popular Wake the Dead show over here in Lusty Lills. So looking forward to, to looking at that again this year. All right, for one of my meals today, we're going to the farmhouse in the back of the park. And here's a little hack for you guys if you didn't know this. They have an option where you don't have to get an entree like steak or chicken. You can get three sides if you'd like. So it's actually a lot of food. I went with the chili, the Brussels sprouts, and the smashed potatoes, and you still get a roll with that as well. So that's a lot of food right there. And like I said, you don't have to get the, uh, the entree like the steak, chicken, uh, anything like that you can come you just want the three side entree and they'll hook you up with this the cool thing too is with the chili you get toppings on it. you get cheese sour cream onion all kinds of goodness here so i'm going to dig into this and i'll let you know how it is all right just got done eating my three side meal here at the farmhouse it was pretty good albeit filling very filling so if you're hungry definitely head over to the farmhouse and get this three side meal and get it it's definitely a filling meal <coughs> excuse me i went with the chili the brussels sprouts and the spanish potatoes now you can get any combination that you want you can get like triple potatoes double potatoes and brussels sprouts or chili you know you can switch it up however which way you want but uh either way it's a good option to have here at cedar points farmhouse subscribe something I never noticed before back here in the general store in Frontier Town is they had these wooden coaster cutouts but they have the Dodgem cars yeah. antique cars they even got a power tower Max Air Sunflower the train right here they got a uh, oh gosh it's a coaster car and skyhawk in a carousel and these are uh let's see the price here like 10 bucks so yeah pretty cool but once again these are in the general store in the back of the park in frontier town and they also have the other coaster dynamics and the coaster the regular size coaster cutouts as well if you'd like to uh purchase those all right just over here at the exit of snake river falls Looks like Midnight Elixirs is going to be returning to this uh, food stand here. Now, over the years, this food stand has been, well, many different things. But uh, typically during Halloween weekends, they turn it into like a bar. And this year is no exception. Like I said, Midnight Elixirs is going to be returning. They have all kinds of alcoholic drinks, including those blood bags. I think they had the syringe, sugar, alcohol drink, whatever that was called. It was, I tried it once. It was way too sweet for me. But... Uh, yeah, like I said, this is right at the exit of Snake River Falls, kind of the beginning of the uh, the trail area here by Maverick. That gargoyle is definitely rocking one out on top of this Millennium Force sign. Right, over here near Kitty Kingdom, we have the tent set up already for the kids' games. You had to buy like these little tokens or tickets uh, to, for the kids to play the games during Halloween weekends. And over here in front of the Funway Arcade, we have these new like stanchions, these Halloween themed stanchions. Looking pretty good. That's gonna do it from Cedar Point this weekend. We're here to check out all the upcoming Halloween weekends uh, attractions, and we're right here, standing right in front of the sign here at the entrance. Showed you that earlier in the video. We're gonna be back next week for the beginning of Halloween weekends, the official beginning where the haunted houses and all the trails will be open. 
to explore. So I'm really excited about that. Like I said, we'll be here weather permitting to check all that out. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like buttons. It really helps us out. We appreciate it. Like I said, we're going to be here nearly every weekend this Halloween uh, season. We're also going to try to get down to Kings Island and maybe even Six Flags uh, to check out their Halloween weekends event too. So uh, like I said, it's important that you hit that like and subscribe button to keep you informed of all our latest videos that come out. Once again, thanks for watching.